and we are back thanks guys for clicking on this video please like subscribe comment below leave some feedback tell me who you got who you like and in the indian wells tournament who do you think is going to win it all uh but we're back we're, we're uh checking out this match here with one of my favorite players camella Giorgi, and um she's going to be facing amanda anasmova uh, someone she's never faced before, so very excited to see how that will turn out. But for the most part, um, let's take let's just talk really quick about some of the disappointing performances so far in this tournament. What about Garbinia Muguruza losing to Aizla Tamjanovic? What an upset! Garbinia just she looked horrible from the beginning. The second set, she showed what she's made of and capable of. And just, she got broke early in the third set. She broke back and then dropped, once it was tied 3-3, she dropped the last three games. Very disappointing performance. I mean, and what about Emma Raducanu last night? Now, I did let people know Sasnovich is, she's no joke here. She's very fit. She practices very hard. And she's always game to, to beat anyone on tour. Um, but yeah, those are really, for the most part, the two disappointing matches so far. Um, at least Mertens was injured. She That injury carried over into this tournament. Can't really blame her for that. Um, Rabinka losing to Putin Seva, not really an upset. Putin Seva's beat her before. But out of all the picks, uh, I went over the complete draw, and those are the picks that did not. Uh, win but everything else is won it's been a good tournament so far but hey check out my patreon i do leave guaranteed winners guaranteed locks again i'm not picking every game on my patreon i'm only picking winners you know matches like garbanya Muguruza versus tom Janovic. that's not going to be on my patreon there, there's no way because the numbers don't make sense if you know what i mean but um let's get back to this matchup here Camela Giorgi, one of my favorite players, ranked 38th in the world on the tour there. Uh, she's 23 and 15 on the on the year. She did capture her lone single titles this year in Montreal. The fans were really behind her, um, which was shocking because Bianca Adresu, they weren't really chiller, cheering to... Um, hard for her when she played on Shabur, the crowd was favoring on Shabur more than Bianca so that was pretty interesting yeah it's interesting indeed but um Camilla Giorgi she's on the three match losing streak um she lost to Roos in the Chicago Invitational in straight sets uh before that we saw her lose to uh Simona Halep in the U.S. Open in two tight sets and then we saw her lose to um, Jessica Pegula at the Western and Southern Open in straight sets. Um, you know, and then before that, she had a nice win streak where she won the Montreal Open, beating Pliskova in the finals and beating Jessica Pegula before that. But uh, she takes on her opponent here, Amanda Anasmova. Let's take a look at her and see how good of a year she's having now amanda anasmova um pretty mediocre year for the most part uh she's ranked 81st in the world uh she's she's been on the decline since her breakout year in 2019 where she reached as high as ranked 21st in the world but this year she's only 16 and 15 and um Again, she's barely above 500, but she's the actual, um, she's the favorite in this match. Uh, her career, she's 102 wins, 62 losses, and um, not really much going on for her career. She only has one singles title. Uh, that's the Clara Open. She beat Sharma in three sets in 2019. And again, 2019 was her breakout year. Uh, that's the year we saw her reach uh, the round of 16 at the Australian Open. And at the um, French Open, she reached the semifinals, which was a big accomplishment for her. 
Uh, but after that huge year in 2019, she signed that huge Nike deal worth $70 million. And she hasn't done anything since. Now, I mean, let's be honest. If she can ink a $70 million Nike contract, then a lot of some of these other players should have much larger deals than that. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, but she's a favorite in this match. And this is not a matchup I'd like for Amanda. Um, Camilla G. Orgy is always one of the most fit athletes on tour. Hey, did, did I tell you guys, I actually met Camilla Giorgi one time uh, in New York at one of the uh, tournaments, and um, she's a very, very nice person, and uh, she's short, by the way, but she's very strong. She had, like, she literally had three tennis bags, um, two wrapped over her shoulders and one in her hands. She had a ton of rackets, a ton of stuff with her. And she's carrying all this. She's so small. She's carrying all this stuff. And just like her small muscles are popping out, her veins are popping out, her legs are just so powerful and strong looking for her size. And, you know, she's looking at me like, hey, who's this guy? He's handsome. Um, kind of, sort of. But, yeah, she was staring at me a lot. And then, um, you know, I went up to her, said, hello, hey, how are you? But a very nice person. But um, this is a matchup I like. Camilla Giorgi to win. Camilla, like I always say, she's one of the fittest women on tour. Whenever you play her, you have to be ready to go three sets. And the thing with Camilla is there's no on or off switch. She's always giving it 100%. She's the type, she does it, she does not want the extended rally. She is going to go for the home run shot. And if she's hitting it, she's probably winning. If she's not, she's probably losing. That's it. Amanda Anasimova has, she has a more, um, I'd say probably a more disciplined style of tennis where she wants to keep the ball in play. So this is a very contradicting match of styles here. But I like the person that's going to take the chances. I like the person that's in better shape. And I like the more experienced person with more singles titles under their belt being the underdog. So I like Camilla Giorgi to win this match. Um, this is a matchup that I do have on my Patreon. I do like Camilla Giorgi to win this match. I just think there's levels to this. Amanda Esmova, although this is a matchup she can win, I think that the few weeks off for Camilla Giorgi is going to be great here. And Amanda just has not looked good lately. Um, I mean, despite Giorgi losing her last three matches, I still think she's in better form. I think she's the more experienced player. I think she's the better player. And I think this is a matchup that's for her to lose. Um, this is a matchup Camilla should win. It could go three sets. Um, we all know Camilla's a front runner. She will start off very good. She'll slow down because she exudes a lot of energy. Somewhere in the second set, she normally slows down and picks it back up in the third set. But again, this is a matchup I like for Camilla G. Georgi to win. This is on my page. The link is below. You can sign up for my Patreon. You will see this on there. And for the most part, um, hey guys, tell me who you like in this matchup. Who you like in the tournament? Are you disappointed with the Garbinia Muguruza match? I mean, that that was just disappointing. Garbinia's got to play better. But either way, she was on a collision course with Barbara Kajekova and she would have been eliminated anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, Aza Tomjanovic will not make it past next round. That is a fact. I'll probably put that on my Patreon. Um, but hey, enjoy the match, guys. I'll probably keep you updated. There's a couple other matches going on right now on Stabur. Uh, we have Corey Golf headlining. Uh, great matches. Get your popcorn. Thank you, folks.